Josh Green here for Tents and Tales. I'd like to be joined by Jared Cole for the first time in a, a very long time. Um, we were we were at the, just saying now it was a development tour probably about three years ago up in, up in Wigan we we last spoke and it's changed a lot for you since then. You're right at the top of those development tour rankings and you're going to be pushing for a tour card in the next week or so. Well, I like to think so. I mean, yeah, development tour this year, well, in my opinion, was a bit hit and miss. I was annoyed not to pick up a title, but overall how I was playing, I was quite happy. So, yeah, it's definitely a learning curve. I was playing well enough to win a title, but it just didn't fall for me, unfortunately. But, you yeah, look- definitely, yeah, definitely looking looking comfortable for a tour card. I'm feeling really good, really confident. Yeah, and when, when you look back over the last few years on the development tour you say obviously you didn't you didn't weren't able to pick up a, a title this year but you must be really happy with the consistency you've shown over the last couple of years and you are one of those players now in the development tour that people look at and they think he's probably ready to make the next step in in the world of darts yeah I'd like to think so I mean I've had a little taste of it before I know what the pro tour is about but as well as that I'm now looking to have an official tour card like yeah, I've had a little taste of it and now I want the real thing. But it's yeah, it's pushing on time now for me. Yeah. In terms of that that taste you mentioned, obviously it carries all the way through the PDC with the Dev Tour Challenge Tour and then the Pro Tour. The setup is so professional these days. But when you're on that Pro Tour, how how many lessons did you learn in those those days? <laughs> oh wow. Uh so <laughs> many. I mean, I felt like from the year when I started. I completely changed as a player. Like I learned so much. I learned how to almost mature as a dark player. Obviously, I've always, well, I like to think I've had the talent, but you have to have the right mindset as well. It's, yeah, it's so important. And it doesn't just happen overnight. And yeah, over the course of that year, I feel like I gained a lot of valuable experience. Hmm. And you, you talk about changing mindset and gaining the experience. You're obviously part of Modus. You can see the patch on your shirt. There's plenty of, Plenty of big names in the the modus stable, as we know. I'm sure now and again you maybe get a chance, whether it's on an exhibition or, or something like that, to pick the brains of some of the the pros. I'm sure having them as somebody you can speak to is a real help at times. Yeah, of course. I mean, what better way to learn from someone who actually understands it, who knows it? Like, obviously, yeah, you have to choose your own path to a degree, but somebody who has that sort of inside knowledge. Yeah, it's always great to have them on your team. And yeah, the management team at Modus are fantastic. So, Yeah, 100%. But well, we'll move on to Key School. It's just a few days time until you're going to be down in Milton Keynes or up in Milton Keynes for yourself yeah. for, uh, for Key School for a few days. You've been there before and it's a, it's a very tough school as, as every player I spoke to tells me. How, how are you feeling heading into it? Um. Well, yeah, I mean, I've experienced pretty much every part of Q-School now. I mean, I've been as close as a data double to a tour card before. I've also been quite far away. So it's very much on those, well, obviously seven days, but for me, four. Mm. Uh, you've got to get it right. You've just got to make sure those days you turn up and give it your all. Like, leave nothing in the back. Like, make sure you give it everything you got. Yeah. You mentioned, obviously, just be the four days for yourself this year with the split um obviously you come in from the development tour is that a, a help or a hindrance do you think for yourself i mean if you had asked me this last year i would have said a hindrance because we had played so much online darts and it was like i wanted to play in person again but from my own experience obviously i'm a young dart player as well but seven days constantly playing the mental strain the physical strain you know you do want a day off <laughs> like yeah. yeah so i think the four days is definitely an advantage. Yeah. And just for people that don't know, I mean, explain what it's like stepping into the room at Q School. There's hundreds and hundreds of talented players and you've got to somehow fight your way through that pack to earn yourself a tour card. Yeah, it's, wow. It's, uh, it's certainly an experience. I mean, I've been there a few times now, but every time you go in, the room just feels that much bigger. Like, you know, it feels that much harder, that much more difficult to get to where you want to be. Like the players that are there, it's always ridiculous talent. So, yeah, I mean, I like to think I can get through it, but yeah, every other player will be thinking the same thing. So it will be tough, but I like to think I've got a good chance this year. Do you think you're probably in the the best place you've been to get a tour card, having 
had just more experience on on the pro tour and obviously playing modus online league over the last what year or so on and probably more more than a year or so on the modus online yeah. so you've had you've had that experience as well yeah i mean as i say i've only gained i've never lost like i'm always a gain experience i've always gained opportunities so the way i look at it obviously yeah i've won the mad darts global championship as well so there's loads of experiences this year that have made me a better player so i like to think i'm more prepared than what i would have been a year ago but in the same sense yeah it's four days you've got to get it right it's very difficult yeah, yeah i like to think i've got a good chance 100 percent. we'll quickly touch on the wdf world championship as well obviously for players that aren't able to get a tour card there's so many options these days whether that be challenge tour um the adc that steve brown's doing now and obviously for you you are in a spot at the WDF World Championships. It's something that you can fall back on and you know you've got something there if you don't get that tour card. Yeah, it's almost like a very, very appealing backup plan. Like if it doesn't go to plan, obviously, yeah, you'll continue to play Moda Starts. You'll play under WDF World Championships. Like there's so many opportunities, even if it doesn't go to plan next week. But if it does, it's a it's a life changer. So Obviously, you try and grab it with both hands, but yeah, I mean, this year is certainly the so well, the opportunities, even if it doesn't go to plan, are so strong to fall back on. It's almost like it's not necessarily a bad thing if it doesn't work out this year. Yeah. Just on the the WDF, pulling Martin Adams out the hat, what was your what was your reaction like to pulling that? I mean, I, I don't really know because I was I was really happy with the actual match because on paper that's that's a like incredible game. It's one that people are going to want to watch. It's going to be a great game. Obviously, if it still happens, I don't know what's the situation with Q School and WDF. But if it does happen, it's going to be a fantastic game to watch for all the crowd, all the people that watch it live. Um, as well as that, it's probably on paper one of the toughest names I could have pulled out the hat. So. Yeah, I mean, a little bit upset in that sense, but wow, opportunity to play Wolfie at Lakeside. Like, that doesn't happen to everyone. I had like, oh, I was looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you may still get a chance. We'll see. But in terms of Q School, the problem is, out, I hope I don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, there's two edges to it, really, isn't there? Um, you, you say, in terms of Q School, um, in, t- in terms of getting on the pro tour, I mean, in, there's for you, you've experienced so much now. How much of a step up? I mean, the standards in terms of it will be a big step up, but how much do you think you'll be able to adapt to what the pro tour has to offer? Well, what I found is when I did get my chance to go on a pro tour, I, in myself, my game got better as well. Like I was a lot more consistent. I didn't have any of the sloppy games because you can't. And you get that mental edge and you always feel like you're at 100%. Like you're always giving your all. And you can't, you have to, otherwise you lose. Like the standard is ridiculous. The dart, standard of darts these days is fantastic. So yeah, it's a, it's a struggle, but as well as that, I think it mentally makes you sharp knowing that you have to play well. Hmm. Will, will life change for you much if you if you get a tour card? Will you be focusing more? Will there be more practice? Will there be less work or anything like that? Um, well, it's hard to say. I mean, I work as a chef at the moment. So obviously hours can be tough, especially just out of Christmas. I mean, that time of year, it's always the hardest. But um, yeah, it's, it would change everything. Like, it, obviously yeah my darts would become my life it would be my it wouldn't just be a hobby I'm really good at it would be my like my job my career but in the same sense I'd still keep trying to well yeah try to be level-headed and just sort of focus on being being me like making myself happy making sure that I'm comfortable when uh, I'm doing well for myself that's the plan mate well it's been nice catching up for the last 10 minutes really appreciate your time Jared and we'll We wish you the best luck in in Q School in a few days' time. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.